A large banking company with a vast infrastructure always has to be online for maintaining the business process's continuity. Sarah Johnson, an executive, wants to verify the business critical services of the mobile banking service and identify the root cause of an ailing service. To investigate, Sarah uses CA Digital Operational Intelligence. CA Digital Operational Intelligence enables IT operations teams to make smarter, faster decisions for enhancing user experience and improving IT service quality and capacity through cross-domain contextual intelligence. Built on an open, powerful engine, CA Digital Operational Intelligence provides users with comprehensive insights by ingesting and analyzing a diverse data set, including metric, topology, text, and log data. CA Digital Operational Intelligence includes out-of-the-box integrations with the following CA products, along with support for custom data feed through APIs, CA Performance Management, CA Application Delivery Analysis, CA Network Flow Analysis, CA Unified Infrastructure Management, and CA Spectrum. Let's watch as Sarah investigates the mobile banking service using the business service view. Sarah logs into the CA Digital Operational Intelligence Console. The Service Analytics Overview page displays all the available services and their overall health. By hovering the mouse over the Risk Donut chart, Sarah can see risk counts by type. Sarah clicks on the critical portion of the chart to see which services are at a critical risk. Sarah sees the messaging service is in the critical state. The worst five are sorted by availability. Sarah can change this to view by alarm volume, users, risk, business KPI percent, business KPI dollar, prediction, or retention. She chooses to look at alarm volume. She can see a high alarm volume is in messaging. Sarah switches back to availability. Sarah has identified that the messaging service is in an unhealthy state. Sarah clicks the messaging service from the overview page to be redirected to the messaging summary page. She can see that though the availability isn't red, it is still a risk that could possibly impact the users. She also notes that there are spikes in the user counts. Sarah sees there is traffic from the United States and the United Kingdom on the location overview. Sarah sees the messaging service is in a high risk and there are critical alarms. She wants to know what is happening there, so she clicks on the graph. All of her service alerts are now shown in context. There are two service alarms during the 24-hour period, which is not good because service alarms are a group of correlated alarms. Sarah expands the latest service alarm to see what alarms make up the service alarm. She sees the service alarm is made up of alarms from CA Unified Infrastructure Management, CA Performance Management, System Logs, New Relic APM, and CA Spectrum. Sarah now expands the alarm message to read more details of the message. The deepest configuration item alarm, as determined by Service Analytics, is the root cause alarm and is indicated by the blue icon. Sarah sees the memory alarm from UIM as the root cause, so she clicks on the memory icon to investigate further. She sees the physical memory affected metric. The chart combines information that is designed to help you quickly review and interpret activity for a metric in your environment. The various components of the chart are actual data, mean value for the metric, center value for the metric, common data, probable data, and rare data. Sarah now looks at the alert overview, showing UIM alarm specifics, which include alarm ID, alarm message, alarm type, date created, last update date, group, probe name, monitoring host or robot, source IP, hub, device type, suppression key, and assigned to. Sarah now looks at the impacted services. She sees the messaging and archival services are impacted. Sarah goes back to the affected metric so she can look at the correlated metrics. Sarah sees the physical memory use for the DB server PC01. Sarah will now add more metrics to the chart so she can get a better understanding of what is happening on the database server. Sarah selects swap memory usage. CPU usage, 
paging. and user. Sarah turns on the display selected metrics to better see which metrics she has selected, and then closes the available metrics. To better see the metrics data on the screen, Sarah clicks on the four wide icon. She sees high values and alerts generated during the same period. Sarah notices when the user count spikes high, the physical memory, swap memory, paging, and CPU usage also spikes. Sarah now wants to look at the CPU usage. She removes some of the CPUs from the chart to get a better understanding of what is happening. As she clicks on each CPU, the CPU is removed from the chart. Sarah now clicks on the customized chart icon to get a different view of the chart. Notice the chart shows the details for each CPU. Sarah expands the DB Server PC01 component to access it in more detail. This shows each CPU and their average, maximum, and minimum percent usage for the period. Sarah now deselects all of the CPUs by clicking on the blue check mark icon. She now selects CPU2. Now the probability band charts are shown. Sarah selects all of the CPUs. And then clicks the done icon to exit the customizing screen. Sarah now knows the database server has problems with the swap memory pool, causing excessive paging, which slows down the messaging and archive service. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to the CA Educate channel on YouTube. For more detailed information about CA Digital Operational Intelligence, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can view product documentation, get support, visit the communities, or see the learning paths.